कृपया ध्यान दीजिए द लैंग्वेज यूज ऑन द पॉडकास्ट मे नॉट बी फिट फॉर कंजम्पन वी वॉन्ट यू ट्रेड केयरफुली बट लिसन यार डोंट बी सो कंजर्वेटिव Hey, what a fantastic show! Because Naveen has just completely metamorphosized into something else. Let's just take a look at him. Yeah, Naveen, you do look different. <laughs> And then, of course, there's the prodigal uh, wig maker uh, right there, the man yeah. with the Lionel Richie touch who brings uh, '80s music back to us. Sri Ram, very popular name in India. Very safe name to have on your Aadhaar card. I'm told. Just show it and keep walking. <laughs> in most places, not always, uh, not a hundred percent. Yeah, so we were missing. Hi, uh, Hamisha. Good morning. Oh, Amit, you got a good morning from Hamisha. I did get a good morning. Happy. By the wow. way, I don't know. Amit doesn't watch the show anymore. Like anyone who runs something, they don't use the product. So <laughs> he <laughs> has no idea how popular he is amongst our regulars because regulars keep asking, "Where's Amit? How's Amit?" You feature. Yeah. Three, you and Kunal feature whether you're there or not. Okay. It's like that. <laughs> For different reasons, they protect him from me, and okay. they miss you. See, everybody is already jumping in with. Uh, <laughs> Sajid Khan, I'm excited. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Yeah, no. so this is like Mark Zuckerberg using Facebook. Okay, one sec, one sec, one sec. Let's look at that. Let's look at that. Because I've been given the role of Sajid Khan. Sajid Khan. Khan. Amit Shah. Uh, no, enough. you're Zakir. Like I'm Amit Shah. You, you've got the best out of the three. Shri, Shri, come on! You've been yeah. given Zakir Hussain, and the heart is next to you as well. So I'll take Zakir Hussain over Malinga any day, man. I'll I'll say that much. <laughs> I feel you're more Zakir than Malinga because Malinga is not much of a yeah. talker, and Zakir doesn't stop talking. If you think his hands It talk, also- his mouth talks as much. <laughs> We should have him. Can we get him on the podcast? He's great. He's Zakir so Hussain. funny. He's hilarious. He's I'd love to get Zakir yeah. Hussain on. Zakir is uh, he's a laugh he's a minute. He's in LA, right? He's very self-deprecating yeah. and easy to work with, guys. We must get him on, and the chicks dig him. Nice. We need one guy. If he answers, like, then I can I can I can swoop in. Yeah, no. He, uh, you can do all his stunts. If, no? if you want to get somebody who the chicks take, let me just move over and let me th- let the other person in. Chicks really dig this guy. Okay, or you want Naveen in? Oh, uh, so Amit made his one uh, uh, almost incorrect, uh, politically wrong, uh, homophobic sort of gesture. I don't know why. Look at this. <laughs> chicks dig this guy. You know. Oh. This is my cousin Naveen, who's wearing the same outfit. Look at this. Right me, now, uh, that's happening. Uh, 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 and Amit has walked look out. So all YouTube. those all those hearts and all are going to go out of the window right now. <laughs> he says, he, "Yeah, the all the ladies Amit. who are missing Amit, he will return." He says, "Like that's what all men say, except that guy in the gruesome murder." I mean, that was just oof. Wow. We're all blending with the background, both of us. Have really? Noticed, yeah. Yeah, I planned it. Is you know me. Sweet. I spent hours over my wardrobe, unlike Sri, who's just basically <laughs> uprooted a tree and put I, it on his shoulders. Yeah. yeah every yeah, time I, I see Sri Ram, the hair is just like a new chapter. I think he's now deliberately doing that. No, I mean you can't actually look like that. Yeah. This this is like he's called three guys from Gurgaon and oh. said, "Chalo, kicho," and they all pulled it. One day for shock effect, he just went bald. I remember. Yeah. This all is of a that. shock effect. Yeah. <laughs> Looking at his face every time. She just the usual love here. Yeah. Foreplay we call it amongst hey. us. Hey, uh, <laughs> I or just three play. Just to answer the original question, I still have to buy a wardrobe to get a wardrobe. So I just pick up whatever is there that you know. I go to corporate events and just get free T-shirts. Sorry about your corporate events because uh, the audio listeners are complaining. You know they have no idea what we're talking about. So I'm feeling really bad. I can't even describe your look except I tried uprooted tree, huh? bit of Zakir Hussain. We tried everything. I don't know how to describe it. But for yeah. those who can't see mm. at the moment, you're lucky. That's what I'll say. <laughs> the Zakir come with team. Aare, 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 what a reference! What a reference! Very nice. Yeah. Uh, they yeah. went from uh, Zakir Hussain to like now Saif Ali Khan, right? Is the Uh, yeah, you mean the brand ambassador for our uh, yeah for ambassador for Taj. What is the brand yeah. called? Yeah. Taj, 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 Yeah. Bhag Bakri is Maharashtra and Shah Jahan. That's what. Uh, no, I think it's just <laughs> bring the animal in you when you drink the tea, which means tea. Otherwise, very docile sort of drink. You want yeah. to give it a little power, empower the chai in a sense. <laughs> Speaking of chai, you know who's the most famous chai person? The Prime Minister. But did you yeah. know? Yes. I just had this trivia I read recently uh, that the word tea and chai depends on which port of China tea was transported to. Because a certain part of the port could only say te, which is te, and the other part could only say cha, which is cha. And then over time, it became tea and cha based on 
either the coastal route or the land route. So that's how the names happened. My response is boring. It's interesting. People are people are loving it. That, Rishi was nodding his head. Rishi is going to sleep. Tea. Coffee, coffee. You don't drink anything. That's why you're, you're against caffeine as a product. I'm just kidding. It's a very interesting story. Tell us more. Uh, but <laughs> but Shri, it's better than when you used to read uh, Tinkle Comics and as a child they would just give you false information. Okay, like not on, false. No, wait. Example. Tea, tea. There was my entire chapter. Remember, and it was just like one Chinese guy was drinking hot water and some leaves came and flew into his cup and then he was like, oh, this is flavorful and then he, f- that's bullshit. That's not how so it happened. telling me even then China had a hand in our comics? Exactly. Because it's sort of making their legendary <laughs> their status. communist agenda. Yeah. Was leaves deep. from China, uh, vessels from India. God, it's so yeah. 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 I can't wait Bar- for Bakri has a proper oh. coffee shop in Pune. Went to a went on a yeah. date once. Shavik, you cheapo. We met Shavik by the way. He came for that show. Oh yeah, he's, how was the show? I missed he out. He was 17 years old. He's a small young man with a hairy chest. Very sweet. That's a good indication. No, but I was stunned because I thought nobody under 60 watched, listened to the show. Right, Grim Fandango? <laughs> 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 my people, my people. Yeah, That's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Ages Be fine. familiar. Yeah. But how was the show, guys? I was not there. It either. was fantastic. They were really good. None of them uh, abused us. No tomatoes, no eggs, nothing like that. They came for you only, yeah. Yeah, MCBC happened. And I was so glad to see you in a suit. Like, you fully came like dressed up and then these shoes. You know, this is a story of my life. I have never comics. dressed correctly for anything. I'm always. No, you were correctly guy. dressed. No, I was not. You were. In, the audience in, was casual. <laughs> in uh, contrast, you see Abbas in his like nerdy t-shirts, and then Abbas, you're like Abbas pulled out one of his t-shirts, some line written, you know, like I am really skinny. Look at it from this perspective. One <laughs> yeah, of I'm things, not bald. Yeah. All yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, you know. I mean, we can just print it for him. We can just keep it blank, and we'll write on it. One of us. Yes, Our producers. <laughs> no, oh, even later than and, me. And uh, late, uh, I'm going to try and show the late Latif who's walked in. Sponge. And he cut his hair. Now you can see his eyes. Yeah, That's yeah. disgusting. And now the excuse for coming late will be a very strange one and by the way guys I have to rush to Nariman Point at 11 I have to leave to get the Israeli visa yes that's right I found myself a young girl called uh, Julia uh, Julia Wise and I'm going to marry her against my wife's wishes and I'm going to settle down in Tel Aviv that's good Israeli visa is good only and Wi-Fi works Yeah. what's your problem I have no problem I'm actually (laughs) looking forward to it call me for the wedding also what I'm saying me and the Jewish people we share one thing in common we don't necessarily want to spend too much on the wedding Mm. not like you Punjabis (laughs) Uh, Shri are you the guy in charge of the show yes Um, then shouldn't you be taking over the show I actually wanted to speak about this uh, because we are already talking about Israelis did anyone hear uh, Dave Chappelle's uh, Saturday Night Live monologue. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Rishi and me were both and there. We were actually, I mean, I, I can do verbatim for you. He began with, uh, well, and, you know, went on for about And he ended with like tapping the mic on his knee. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. And making those big eyes, you know. Yeah, yeah. Oddly, yeah. oddly, this yeah. time he didn't do any yeah. of that. He didn't do any of the tapping of the mic. He didn't do any of the look how big my dick is. He mm. actually made it funny. And... It was odd to see it happen. Because there was a sounding uh, board watching backlash. the jokes, yeah. So well, what's your yeah. point, Shri, uh, not to, you know, get lost? In so, the- so the backlash has again started. So again, there's a lot of like, uh, they're branching him or whatever with Kanye West and Kyrie Irving hmm. amongst others. And uh, there's a whole undercurrent in the US. Of, but he made like, anti-Semitic remarks. Who, who, what's the commonality? He, what's he anti- addressed... He addressed the anti-Semitic remarks and at the same time, he went on to say that early in his comedic career, he was told not to use two English words together, the and Jews. <laughs> and he goes on. But and the, then but he goes on like, for what it's worth, he's converted to Islam. So you've got that as well going on, you know, with the two communities yeah. not getting along, etc., etc. in the yeah. Middle East. So, you know, yeah. it's, it's almost like this murder that's taken place here by Naveen. Who's this guy? Do you know him? Which guy? Oh, the Afak. Ashfaq. Uh, Aftab, 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 I'm sorry. Aftab, Aftab. I'm racist in my criminal knowledge. Yeah, you're really, I mean, I mean, just, just <laughs> the front page of every newspaper and every language in India, but yeah. Okay. Oh, last night, my partner was fully like in-depth, like going uh, through it. Uh, like he's very that way. He's like, yeah. oh, this drama. Oh, look, at, look at this way. Yeah. Surname is Poonawala. The family yeah. that gave us the yeah. vaccine and then this. I mean, yeah. Yeah, such a huge difference. Yeah, yeah. And, and of course, it's, it's gone to a whole new tangent, which yeah. is like, oh, and uh, Agrima, who's a fellow comic and former uh, accused of being anti-India. Like remember when there was a whole yeah, They go together don't they? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't have to say it. So, yeah. so, so she said uh, now there'll be like a lot of problems when it comes to giving housing to like you know single living couples yeah. or queer couples and all and everybody's like how is queer into this and all of that yeah. and then mm-hmm. half an hour later one news article is like Milie Inse Ye Aftab Ye Hai Pro India Pro Pro Muslim Pro LGBTQ and I realized that immediately like, they profiled him as like a pro-libertarian so That was my worry you know yeah. Yeah. Honestly, this is lose <laughs> a thing of a murder of one male against 
one female there's nothing more to it than that yeah they made it into muslim hindu yeah, so yeah. far and doing the queer touch and the this touch and the communist yeah. touch and the caste touch there was also this uh, hyderabad doctor thing no where like uh, a doctor was bullied and made to say yeah 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 jashi ram forced yeah, 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 by muslim yeah, yeah. kids yeah. and again it became a whole whole different thing the ragging you're talking about yeah, ragging yeah, yeah, only, yeah, yeah. yeah and they were like that was really brutal to watch i don't know what's but bro, like wrong uh, but with back this in the day you know i mean the kind of ragging that i've seen and i'm not really partisan i won't say i did it but <laughs> it's just par for the course huh it's just sad that some people because they can't take it then it goes berserk and whatever uh, i'm not saying it's a good thing but i'm saying a lot of people have been ragged and nothing yeah, and i think it's, it's the severity of it all right like sometimes it's very physically humiliating and see, if you see some it, kids are like just from the house directly to the when, when they film it and you see it it looks horrible okay it looks yeah, really bad yeah. but some of the other you know it's a different i don't want to the cameras are coming now like i'm pro ragging i'm just going to back off there's no point cuz <laughs> yeah. i'm slightly pro but very slightly I mean, yeah. I find people are too fragile, you know. If, so yeah, right. I mean, if you said, "Kira, it's a tank, Kishna," for example, right? Uh -huh. Like, you know, if you said that, okay. You're a junior, so you have to like maybe get a cold ring for us, or you know, yeah. we'll we'll call you names, we'll call you. They made me swim. They yeah, are, yeah, on the floor, on land. That is basic. So it's not so bad. Exactly what I'm saying. Yeah. Everybody's watching you. No, no, no. Young imagine girls. opening a soda bottle with your asshole. Like that's that's the kind but of. But you like that kind of thing. Me, I'm yes, but like there are others who are not. Ek aur pila do. One of those. I'm like muscle practice. <laughs> Navi, all no, the things can't, that you, you like, can't rag Navi. He loves yeah. all this shit. Yeah, like, yeah. Let's go, let's go, yeah. boys. Uh, uh. I remember, like, even my seniors. It's like Navi like, complaining to... tomorrow, like, hey, I'm being asked to dress in drag. But you sort of that's the thing that you, you know, enjoy. You don't pretend you don't like it. Hey, Sri, the whole idea is got to pretend you don't like it. You know, so they keep going. Yeah. At it so, so you have a really great yeah. day. Oh, don't make yeah. me become yeah. a woman. I hate that yeah. idea. And then yeah, no, he's all yeah. like, you know, yeah. guys, don't don't give me two million dollars. It's ragging. Don't do it to your. I don't know who's who's artwork. This is this is amazing. By the way, Hemisha is saying that she did your work, Sparsh. What does that mean? Because she said good morning and stuff like that. She was uh, the welcoming committee. I'll give her that. Uh, so basically, you're on your own, Sparsh. Uh, off you go. Back to Delhi. And thanks a lot. <laughs> uh, oh my God, Kasi, what happened to this fragile yeah. comic? You're in Gurgaon only, no? Uh, yeah. Well, his yeah, head, yeah. head and neck are in Gurgaon. He's been uh, coming been back happening? for a month now. I don't know what's happening. It's yeah, what happened? Uh, we, 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 all, we all thought you lost the job and you come back here and all that. Yeah. That didn't happen. I just I'm trying to lose the job, man. <laughs> Doing my best. But this is the hilarity of the fact that the employers who don't even watch this, they don't even know this is like there's like no way complaining on live. You know, Shiram is uh, basically working as a trucker. So you know, I don't think that's the community that listens to the podcast, as far as I know. And his hair, his hair, <laughs> like, on the return journey, his hair becomes like this. His hair is bad, but his ass has never looked better. Is what I'm saying. And how do you know? Because the soda bottle was there. Yeah, and you helped him. <laughs> yeah, and, his, and truckers have great. <laughs> Navi, ass. Navi and I, Navi and I, while we might not talk much, we exchange mm -hmm. our yeah. asshole pictures every all, once all in fifteen days. Yeah, that's a, that's the only way of keeping a check on our colons. You yes. Know? Please yeah. ask yeah. Sri to tilt the camera. Now I've lost it, but yeah. So we can only see his hair. Is it possible for you to give a perspective of just the ball? Yeah. And if you want, we can do the uh, bad joke of ball bache kaise. You could you could, you could be in the <laughs> sequel to the weird Al Yankovic. Uh, yeah. Is it Yankovic or Yankovic? Yankovic. Are you sure? Yeah, it's in the. Movie. I always thought it was witch. Yeah, I always thought it was witch. Because once you have the C in uh, Eastern Europe, it becomes yeah, a chur. But yeah. it's, it's classic. But it's no, classic. No, no, no. It's also, also Dojo witch. I'm gonna fight this. It's not Dojo witch. No. Uh, Djokovic. Djokovic. It is Djokovic. Oh, shit, I first, you don't even know the first part. Djokovic. Oh, Listen, shit. bro, you stick, you stick to sodas in the ass and leave the tennis to us. All right, man. What the uh, hell? Uh, I know. I know Nadal. <laughs> I know Sharapova. No, I, no, no, no. You can't get points for that. I now. know Andre Agassi. Yeah, Andre Agassi. Yeah, Agassi, nahi to Marashan nahi hai. What is Agassi? <laughs> then, what is he? <laughs> <laughs> He's not Agassi. He's Mohan Agassi's son. No, no, no. What the hell? <laughs> Naveen, you're Catholic at heart. No matter how gay you are, you can't take that out. Oh, Leave yeah. it, accept it, embrace it. All right. Thank God for. Is it Bandhu? <laughs> Thank God for Gohans. <laughs> uh, uh. Oh, speaking of which, uh, football starting in a few days. Mr. Football, Shiram. We we should be talking yeah. about that. Qatar. Uh, are you? Are oh you... yeah. Okay. We also actually this is a great moral dilemma question to start off the episode with. Huh. If the both of you were given money to go to Qatar and pose as fans hmm. of a particular team in the hmm. World Cup, and looking at both of you, I'm assuming the fans obviously would be Colombian. Um, <laughs> would you take money? Take money means? Would I accept money? Like, no, nah, because. Yeah, except no, they're paying money fans, for people to come and watch. What's wrong with this guy? We are struggling comedians. If they ask us to go and dress yeah. like turkeys in in a parade for uh, straight people, we do it, right, Navi? Yeah, yeah. What's he talking At about? At Link Road also. Yeah, you want to go <laughs> see a sports match and pretend to like a country? How hard is that? Absolutely. Uh, just, just write the name of the country <laughs> yeah. on your hands so you don't forget. If they Poland, do, okay. Poland. What if, yeah. What if, huh. Okay. What if the caveat is they hold your passports till that time? 
I don't care as long as they no be us. Mind to, expiring, anyways. We're going to watch football, uh, the best football in the world, and pretend to like uh, one team. I no, mean, no, no, what do we do in India anyway? Football. Our guys aren't qualifying, so we anyway pretend to like one yeah. team. Yeah. Okay. So is there? A so your question to, sucks. So you know, you're fired, and uh, from okay. now on, I mean, you are in charge. Yeah, I should have been the co-host. Which I, I even, think you I should even be. Told so I'm okay co-host. See, I'm get on your truck. Off you go. Truck off, man. Which is which was the point? Is so. Uh, because the uh, the story is that that Qatar is hiring a lot of like extras. Wait, is it Qatar or Qatar? Speak. Like I'm. It's, I'm I think it's Qatar. Is it the movie uh, with Sunny Deol or is it like a line? I think he's gone to Gurgaon and told... then they swallow the words. No, it's oh Neil Bolwell, <laughs> Anil Kumar, yeah. oh Neil Bolwell. Uh, it's like that. So we're Qatar. Uh, Hindu sorry. Qatar me. Uh, Qatar. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, so, I don't know why uh, we're doing this. This was such an infantile show. Yesterday was so much. I, it's actually Qatar as a derivative of Qatar because they are one fourth Middle Eastern and three fourths uh, German. <laughs> what, please? Uh, three three fourth yes. anal. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. So Sriram, you're cancelled in many quarters of the world now. I'm looking at only Chambur. Okay, we are performances are restricted to Chambur, and even there, you made some South Indian jokes. So be careful. <laughs> yeah. Rohit Ro- Ro- is saying Cyrus will go there in a suit. I'll go in a suit. Yeah. All the managers and coaches oh, are in suits. A baba suit. Yeah. Of course, I'll wear my uh, okay. yeah, birthday suit you're talking about. Yeah. Your, your mind is always there only where the soda is. Yeah. Nothing changes. Yeah. <laughs> German football. Okay. So, uh, oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, see, see, I just yeah. want to, I want to, uh, the Sparish is yawning, so I'll just wake him up. Uh, please hmm. get the 6 p.m. show. Vishal Pujari says, I am never able to make it to the live show late nights here. He lives obviously in the other side of the world. So, the 6 p.m. show, if everybody's interested, we can fight for one 6 p.m. show. What's your okay. problem, man? But it's just like very, very like curtly yeah. said no. He's like, reminds you of the young Mayavati. You know, he's like, wake get, up on time. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah. Wake up on time, but they're waking up on time, but it's just a different time zone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wake up on our time. <laughs> Sleep on your time. <laughs> <laughs> Vishal Pujari, uh, I want to know where, where, where in the world are you? Because as a Pujari who's from Karnataka, you've so made it very far from oh, wherever you are. I'm always jealous of uh, yeah. South Indians who made it. Not the time because it doesn't, it doesn't sound like jealousy. It. it sounds like unnecessary dissing. That's what it sounds like. But they are here to have an open forum, and here yeah. today he made it to the show. So and why did he leave him. the country with a name like Vishal? If your name is Vishal or Vikas, you're welcome here. As yeah. far as I know, you know, it's, it's in every speech. Yeah, Vishal. So. Unlike unlike Vishal. Pujari as a surname, which is not welcome at all. Yeah, you're talking about Ravi Pujari, a close friend of mine, famous mafia don. Yeah, well, I know all about that. But Sri, uh, do you have anything to say about the huh. World Cup being the football? You're the football. Naveen, you're not a football fan of okay. any kind, no. You could tell from my pronunciations. No, that ago. that was Agashe. That is a different. <laughs> that's a whole different. I don't know where to begin. <laughs> Just some other people running behind some other ball, Cyrus. For me, that's all it is. The young men in shorts. Yeah. yeah, I thought you'd like that kind of thing. No, that's the thing. Right? See, there's a there's a clear difference between the kind of men I like are into rugby, the big men, the kabaddi men. You know, yeah. I like the. You like a more contact sport. You find this a exactly. Little, I, uh, he finds this a little effort for him. You know, it's a little too. Yeah, girly. running behind one testicle, no. Nope. Yeah. But what? <laughs> yeah, okay, all right. If that's your thinking. Hmm. By the way, they. Change the ball all the time, huh? Because when it goes out, another ball is thrown in. Sometimes, you know. Good for them. You watch, yeah. yeah. So it's not a one testicle thing. If that's your, thing. I've I've tried this with my straight friends back when I was pretending to be one with of my one straight of you guys. friends. Now we are a minority, guys. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> like, like, yeah, yeah like one but, guy would have like a screening at his house, and then we'd all go and sit over there. Yeah. And, and, you're, and you're bored. Mm. And I'm bored. I'm so fucking bored. <laughs> I'm like shit. What yeah. do I do? And then like this is like me in the podcast. It's just fucking kill time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then Naveen, what is the last sporting event that you actually saw? Uh, like I saw the uh, India Pakistan India match Pakistan. recently. Yeah, yeah, India okay. lost. Like a terrible fucking. Like it was embarrassing to watch it. India Pakistan, we won. No. The, God, his sports knowledge sorry, is sorry, second sorry. to none. India Australia. India, India, no, no, India, you India, stick with Joe Kobe and Agashe and India, you just stay England, you Baba. England, 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 England. I mean, you're the only ah. guy in India who doesn't know India beat Pakistan. I was like, one moment of happiness. I saw the India Pakistan match also where India won. And ah, but which you thought they lost. <laughs> I confused two matches. I don't. It's like 20 overs for me to become one. one only. Right. Clearly, <laughs> sports is not your thing, my brother. It's not. I'm telling you. It's ah, not. I'm clearly sorry. like, I'm not okay, okay with Okay, finish sports. your point. Finish your point. Yeah. What is so odd is in cricket, there is zero touching of any two people. No, no. That there is always when the, when the batsman is running and the baller is in the way. It is the only game where everybody touches their testicles. Their own. Of course. Always. There's a touching of touching of self, but not touching of other. But that's people, up to you, you know? if you want to freelance. Nobody can, yeah, can and, tell you what to do. And when they have like these cramps, it, they go on okay. the side of the field and then the medical guy comes and does this to their and they pull the pants on in public only, by the way. They you, don't, they, 
So let me understand that's you wait for a world it. cup only to see the injury and then hope that the pants are pulled down. I don't have to wait to watch it. Some gay will compile it and it will be on Instagram the Some next day. Some gay will compile it. Yeah. He mean to his own people. <laughs> yeah. Some <laughs> bloody gay. Some oh, technologically yeah. sound oh, gay. Bloody homos, sports. I tell you. Oh, God, I didn't terrible. say any of that. You, you just said, said that. You took that as a launching pad for your own homophobia. Ah, Shiram, Shiram, who said it? Who said it? What I love about that is I think this entire episode is an exercise on how we alienate the very communities that we want to espouse. You know, like me... <laughs> it's like finding the truth in yourself, no? You have to find yeah, that bad part. By the way, Devesh is asking about Luis Suarez can bite a famous incident. Is, yeah. is Naveen into that? Is Naveen into that. Do you like to be bitten or do you bite? How was the Suarez bite? Uh, I don't know how the World done? Cup is affected by this question, but we will ask. It it was more be, of, I was more turned on by the Zidane head butt. I remember that. You remember that? I clearly that's, remember that's that. That goes yeah. back a long time. Uh, yeah. It's not bad. He knows his football. Yeah, go because, back 20 years he, and give us his, uh, He said something about his sister or mother and yeah, then he just like head butted him. And that was way more like, yeah, fuck you, motherfucker. Yeah, and yeah. that too, like the fact that this guy was going to win that match and he yeah. was the leading figure. I remember that part because very. <laughs> but you know what? There were times when my state friends would call me. But, but whatever they, whatever abuse and it was anti Islamic abuse and everything thrown in, the Italian midfielder, I think I can. Matarazzi, Matarazzi, that's right. Teri Matarazzi, Kesa. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, no, but whatever was yeah. abuse was showered on him that day is not as bad as when he came to India to do an ad and everybody called him Jidan with a J. So, you know, that was more painful. <laughs> I mean, I remember hey, head, he head butted everyone. Yeah, he's like, Jabla ka J. 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 He's Jidan, I'm going to Jidan. actually, I think, played in the ISL for a bit. Yeah, oh. that's what you get. That's your punishment, you know, for headbutting a legend. It is. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't headbutt the legend. He got headbutted. Okay, listen. Can I go back to the... Uh, was it Shraddha or Shweta? One of the two. I keep making mistakes with these names. They're both lovely ladies. Shraddha? Uh, Shweta, I think it was. Who's no, she suggested, let's have a... What's it called? Like a, a census. Let's have a referendum. About 6 p.m. Maybe hmm. run a poll for 6 p.m. show when we have 200 viewers and 100 likes, which is our, the height of our glory. Uh, oh, <laughs> guys, that is, is that okay. fair? Okay, so we're running a poll for 6 p.m. Whoever's interested. No, Spanish, the, the democracy will talk. You can't be like our government. Let the people speak. What wow. are you willing, Cyrus, okay. is the question. I like one no. 6 p.m. a week, yeah. It, it frees then, up one morning. Then he spoke, and I think. Then yeah. you can't do anything. Yeah, you can't. I mean, all you guys prefer evening work uh, stuff. I, I definitely. Then? Today I could not wake up at all. Don't tell us. It was 10 01 when you 10 03 when you walked in. Yeah, and I had laxatives last night, so I don't know when I'm going Again, to it's your bum. explode. Everything is about it your bum. It is bottom. my bum. I had, your uh, bottom is your biopic. So what yeah. happened is uh, my, my, bo- my, my doctor told me my body biome has changed. From all what? the traveling. What does that mean? It's, it's something with the gut that it, your gut has bacteria that is used to a certain oh, lifestyle. So your digestive system has taken a bashing. Yeah, it's taken a very bad bashing. And, and that's a very important part for you. Yeah. So what the hell are you going to do? Either like if I if nothing works, then enema works. I think at the end of it. But, or en- but enema is a good thing for uh, our for age group anyway. For, yeah, for cleansing it. Yeah. Uh, not necessarily for spurge unless that's his thing. I want to put yeah. a camera in my butt. You don't have to anymore. They can do the old-fashioned way. Yeah. I, I got a doctor called Agashe. <laughs> <laughs> Bandre Agashe. <laughs> hey, Shri, talk football with me for two yeah. minutes. You're the only guy who's going to be ah. able to talk here. Okay. You've seen the panel. Yeah. You've I've, I've you met Silvery and Abbas. Facts today. Yeah. Silvery can't spell football and Abbas looks like one. So yeah. this is it. This is You are it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, actually, actually Naveen's not who, bad who, who, as far as our poll, uh, our panel goes. Okay, so uh, let's let's look at the biggest talking points then. Uh, who do you the migrant worker uh, thingy. Which, what are you still feeling about them all going no, no, on? Forget, huh, forget the migrant worker thingy. No, no, I'm saying that all uh, these famous names, Christensen yesterday, for example, yeah. from Denmark, made a lot of comments about, uh, you know, this, it shouldn't have been held Eric, here and all that. Christensen, Christian Erikson, huh? Yeah. Uh, well, I'm doing a, huh. a, a Agashe here. Yeah. Yeah. Erickson, this yeah. is your Erickson Prakash, scored that goal Agashe recently, you know, where yeah. everybody went crazy. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Also. You just shut up now. <laughs> There's no point. You and me are drunk. No, somebody told me Erickson has a very great story. Like he was like... He That's lost the mobile life. phone. It's gone now. No, the person. <laughs> <laughs> so Erickson no, bro, has a great story. Like all, last year all, in the yeah. Euros, he had a heart attack. Correct. He and he exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yes, that's the story. <laughs> but let's leave that yeah. aside. I'm saying they're all huh. getting into their huh. Insta accounts and abusing Qatar yeah. and all. Which is very rare yeah. when you go to a culture and you're, you're not showing respect. But they're all taking hmm. this whole migrant uh, thing really seriously and putting it out there. Also, you, also, yeah. Yeah. How can we not have a yeah. hostile cup is yeah. one of my worries. You know, in the sense... I think, here's my problem with this is that it's classic sort of like European sort of 
uppityness you know like <laughs> hey we built our stadiums with all the migrant workers back in the day by who have been buried over uh, there. long ago yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly yeah. exactly not so all in the stadium yeah, who became the, the football they were kicking yeah the bodies under the pitch so don't yeah, think yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah if anything if anything most of the african footballers who play in those stadiums their ancestry probably has oh, brought from that stadium right okay uh, so, so shiram you're uh, cancelled <laughs> i'm just telling you to save time yeah. no, i think it's true he's, he's saying the right thing yeah. right like so, yeah. you're talking about so, the hypocrisy what? there but then that's like going to babri masjid and going back 500 years or whatever you know eventually yeah, yeah but eventually what happens is that all these things start off with all this oh so much loss of life 100 years down the line it'll be a tourist attraction and the loss of life would be free. even the empire state building had people who died even the world trade center i mean not the latest one but oh my god originally <laughs> it was being built had people who probably died so Yeah, it's just par for cost. No, no, uh, I think I'll just uh, yeah, talk to Naveen. Naveen, we'll talk football. Like, football. This guy's gone destroying yeah. everything. We okay. Know. The peace so, of mind I, is gone. I, think, I, think, yeah. I tell you, I tell you what, one thing that Qatar did wrong is that on the one just side, they are like, okay, okay. On the one side, they sort of like, all the human rights violations are happening. On the other side, so they've sort of like, the labor force has been like completely alienated. On the other side, they're like, hey, you can't drink beer. So all the... like the right wing like you classic can, england you have to find a compromise band. but you have to drink it in a certain yeah. area and all that there rules you have to yeah. you, you have, have to get license to yeah, all that yeah. you have to get the you have to beer i've been bottle. to middle east with alcohol in my hand and i know exactly you have to go and get a ticket yeah like like you know one bottle one person and then you have to be very careful and somebody asks oh, you one bottle is quota that depends on the middle eastern country also when yeah. i was in uae like in in apna uh, abu dhabi and dubai there was yeah. one bottle per person indian jugaad is you take all your six friends who don't drink with you yeah. and they keep going and getting your drink yeah that's the only way it's, to do that's, it that's that's what always left now unless they like make it yeah. very cheap and the indian workers who are there by default end up al- getting allowed to go and they like hame to apna daru mangta hai boss what about the dutch bit drunkard who yeah. sends his uh, five year old kid in all yeah agel <laughs> 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 no, you can't enter yeah you get you get the telling me that the average english hooligan out there is going to restrict themselves that's to one big worry that there's going to be a real police issue because europe with due respect uh, land of culture and all that has the worst jobs in the world yeah. the worst behaved people yeah. at football grounds and not just england yeah. i mean holland's got a horrible yeah. reputation france of the Italy germany yeah. i've learned Italy, the way, uh, one thing about white people is like people talk white about people mein nahi bola main europe ke bare mein main white people bolta hu i'm let me cultural <laughs> culturalism <laughs> aur racism alag hai ha huh. europe europe yeah. mein kon hai aur baki Would you take a migrant population? How many? But they all like in some shades of white only. You know what I'm saying? Like What? unless they're like black, black. Your so racism like... is beyond control. No, I'm What? telling you something. Mr. Agashe, come listen, to your listen, senses. Listen, <laughs> my point Go and was. Go and have an anima right now and calm down. This is this is my way of doing it. Yeah, it show. looks like it. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh-huh. but this like you know like how we Indians people have like this like this people talk about like how we have a. Certain spicy smell to us, like there's a, there's a little bit of like a oof, like you know, spicy. Yeah, smell it's, it's it's sweet and sour. Well, skin. are you smoking and coming to the podcast? <laughs> of course I am. Okay, fine. Uh, <laughs> but then like like you no know, Hispanic people will have a certain different like you know there's a coconuty vibe. Bro, bro, आपका point क्या है? That white people smell like fermented beer. Across the board. To just insult Caucasian people, you took 15 minutes. <laughs> no, because they just drink like that in such. Have you not heard of it? I feel that's more. I feel that's more an insult to beer than yeah. anything. That. Yeah, like, like, like they, 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 they I feel you guys, you guys are really mind. reverse racist of sorts. Of course, <laughs> you just don't like. You just don't like uh, fair. You fair made a, you made a, a very open statement saying that oh, Europeans have a tendency for being like drunkards. No, no I, I said the jobs. Specific. There are a few of them. Because yeah. if you go to a cricket or rugby match, they don't misbehave. But a football match, they misbehave. How do you It's know? It's a type. I know. They're getting drunk. I follow. Miss Mister Dojovic. I follow all this. Dojovic. Dojovic. You know what the other thing is that. One thing that I've noticed about Europeans when oh they go God. to the Middle East, I don't think they fuck around as much because the Middle Eastern dudes are like fucking hefty, right? And they have a lot of oil clout, so it can't be the same Olive way. Like oil. okay, you know, like go to Brazil. Although the two things are not related, if they are hefty and whether they have clout is two different things altogether. So I don't. I know think what you're... both matter in yeah. the sense by size, by size they can't fuck. Anyway, we'll see how that plays out. I'm bored yeah. of the topic. Y'all have said nothing of any. Okay. My mom told me okay, story actually, about okay. Kuwait. Which no, was no, really no, wait, wait, wait. He's got a story about sorry, Kuwait. Sorry, he wants no. to tell us. So no. keep Kuwait for a second ah. and listen. No, so the thing is, like again with the sheikhs in these Middle Eastern countries. Please be careful. Your the way you prejudice your conversation. Aren't there sheikhs in the Middle East? countries what am i saying wrong there are but i don't know what's coming next so, i have again, to keep uh, yeah what's coming i have to keep apologizing <laughs> you're a very dangerous people you you're not going to qatar either for the football match so that's not matter. yet yeah. i'm hoping to get but if they pay you you'll go na like 100% again, again, yeah. again yeah. roshan abbas yeah, gets yeah, some throat infection i'll have to go and sing at monsoon yeah. wedding <laughs> i mean roshan abbas can't do anything the spoken word is this weekend so he no, has he's to he's here speak. only for one day he's going back to do monsoon wedding he's launching yeah. there oh wow yeah 
Is he being paid an arm and a leg and the other arm and leg? He should be paying me funny. for the spoken word thing. Also. Anyways, we'll talk. You're not getting paid for spoken. I'm, I'm getting paid. I'm, wow, for, oh. guys, spoken word people. <laughs> Cyrus is rubbing it in my face. Uh, but no, no, tell the quiet story. Uh, we'll have to go to break. Uh, so the thing is, like, it's such a patriarchal area essentially hmm. that that women are generally very scared to go around. So my mom would like obviously like wait for her friends at a bus stop or whatever if they would oh. go together, and even then like, there would be some guy macking at them. And problem was that. You know, like men do a certain thing when think, when they think it through. Think it through. Huh? Yeah, huh. men men do a certain thing when they do the crotch rub when they look at women. It's a very horrible thing. Horrible men Just do that. Say it uh, politely. Yeah, but but with, like the with the mouth. But the problem, no, no, with, with the hands. Uh-huh. They, you know, just they feel themselves. Sexual gesture. Of sorts. Yeah, yeah. But with the with the shake costume, the problem is that. It's just there, you know. You can't like reach around or whatever. So, so my mom would get even more scandalized by that fact that a guy is just like because when he has a boner, it's just a tent now. It's a white okay. costume and just like how you raise the bar equity of our show in just one sentence. And my, and my mom would like that. That's be the first. May I just say you have abused everybody from Israel. To all the Middle East, to every Caucasian person in Europe. My mom was there, and she was one of the people who was rescued by the during the Gulf War. Actually, so like she's faced a certain number of things in her life. So I think the story is valid. Okay, just no joke at the end though. That was a little worrisome. So we don't know what to okay. do. It sounded sad. Joko, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, but Cyrus, who are you supporting in the World Cup? I always support Trinidad, but they didn't qualify. So now I'm down hmm. to. Um, I'll decide last. Jamaica way. is there, so Thing we is, can go. Uh, yeah. So West Indies, I'm always pro any West Indian country because that's hmm. my people, hmm. my peeps. Okay. Uh, but having said that, I. I that is like, so Hardik Pandey of you to say thanks, that. Thanks, thanks, man. Thanks, man. <laughs> uh, and I, for me personally, I'm very big fan of the underdog. So obviously, I'm going to support Iran or South Korea from left field. Okay. Something special happens. The only problem with Iran no, is okay. if they were to do well, you know, I think it'll just help because there are lots of lovely people in Iran who are fighting yeah. this oppressive regime. And uh, mm. getting no support from us, which is so mm. sad. Mm. Are they in no the World, World Cup? They are in the World Cup. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Ali they Dai, one of the famous guys back in the day. Ali Dai was my hero. They lose 14,000 of their fans. Ali Dai also came out against... Uh, they yeah, all have. arrested in the protest yes. and he's, came, he's come out against the Qatar World They've Cup. all gone on the Instas and supported them, which is a great sign for freedom and, you know, equality yeah. and parity. And I think it's going to be like, you know... Like, when will it happen in India? When will it happen in <laughs> India? They'll arrest all the football players who are talking about it and then yeah. there'll be like five people left that like, your hey, team will oh make Spanish or, or, Italy one team. Sorry, yeah. honestly, Similar note, sorry to, but you know, you know what I really liked Don't about tell the India Pakistan. Huh. No, start again. They, what I really liked about the recent but, India Pakistan encounters was, I think after the match, both teams, right? They, I think, made a pretty much public show even before the match. Of, hey, listen, we are just nice friends getting along. This is just a lot of media hype around like jung and youth and all of that, mm. right? And they almost made it a point that we're going to showcase this to the world that this is not that big a deal. Right, I think so. Uh, so underplaying the political angle and generally the sort of rabid sort of. Bro, uh, I have been with Pakistani fans twice in stadiums. They are the nicest people in the world, the most friendly, mm. and it's great mm. fun. But there's a bit of class thing to that. I think as you go down the class, they are in both mm. India and Pakistan. We get people who are more rabid and badly behaved. But generally speaking, mm. the educated Pakistani and Indian will get along very well. Uh, all you hmm. need is someone like me to be in charge of both countries. I would still say an educated Pakistani is twice better than an Indian educated person. In the Look, you have had nothing nice to say in about your country I, for the last 20 things. years for which I think you should get the Padmashree, nothing less. And I will good looking. Yeah. What happened there? Oh, no, it's all why, back to why did we get, Oh my God. Why did we get the sparshes of the world and then, <laughs> and then Pakistanis got Pakistani people? <laughs> he came late three minutes. He was the first person in front of me. That's why <laughs> I was like, And mind. Rishi is a beauty, huh? Yeah, Rishi, Rishi is, yeah. Rishi has that dusky little... Like, no, you know, podcast. <laughs> like Rishi has that quality when five years later you'll be married to a girl called Chloe and you won't even realize like, you know, yeah. like she's, that, he she's in love. The, that he was in the NBA yeah <laughs> and then Chloe's like Rishi I really love you, you know, my father to my child like, that's the kind of vibe Rishi has yeah. so Chloe Chloe okay. has this uh-huh. where's this Chloe from now you, you now hated that, a lot that of he has to find her no how will yeah. <laughs> I'm so okay, sorry. Guys, I'm just a suit you have to, fantasies for yourself, to. all sex, sex, sex. And for others, it's just terrible romance. Man, Pakistani really guys mean. and girls, beautiful species. Now you're into girls. You stay away from our market. I'm just telling you. We gave you guys. Admiring yeah. from far away. <laughs> <laughs> Please, the demand supply issue continues with us. You stay with your men. We are happy with that. I'll supply. We'll support I, I'll you. take away the husband. The wives can be yours. There you go. <laughs> yeah, everybody ah. wins. Now that's a yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. We have to get into a break. After the break, Naveed's going to predict the future of everyone. So stay. Around. There's nobody listening to you. (laughs) 
Oh, All guys, right. welcome just back. Just uh, Niv oh. is uh, from Kenya via Coimbatore. So the name is Ryoman, not Raymond. Huh? Uh, yeah. Ryoman Patel. Just want to correct because that poor guy, <laughs> nice enough to come for free and they called him the wrong name. Hey, so, remember when we did a show for Raymond Sridang? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, of and course. We, did, we got paid of two years course. later. It was amazing. This, was yes, this, after same Ryoman? appealing directly yeah. to Ryoman Gautam Sridang. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Raymond's um, a brand. Stop showing off. Yeah. You two out of work actors no, no. sitting around with no. me in this stupid podcast. What are you talking about? Now we are, yeah. But as of two hours ago, the payment came. So okay. we are back at work. Uh, right. You got the payment. He hasn't got it yet. He's got a, he's <laughs> got a doctor's appointment for something um, to purify the digestive system. Yeah. We have to take this podcast point about uh, Trump. We have to. So, yeah. who's, who's in charge? Yeah. I am in charge. Okay. okay. So, do you remember uh, what, what Trump is said the point yesterday? About- Trump said that he's running for as Himisha, who's now our research analyst in charge. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> since you guys don't even come on time. Trump is running as Himisha. Mr. Thank Trump. Uh, thank you, Himisha. Mr. Trump, sweetie. The <laughs> uncle that lives next door. Yeah. Uh, pro- it's Trump a typo. Too. Trump Chachu. Yeah. It's a typo. It's a typo. It's Mount Trump. Trump. Huh. Mount no, Trump. It's Mount, Mount Trump. Trump. Like, he's created his own Mount Rushmore right, with right. his only face. That's right. it. Yeah. So he's against the Rushmore. His opposite. They've got a little thing with just him. Is what you're saying? Yeah, and the yeah, mountain will have an yeah. opening with like his hands, face, his yeah. hands and like, his head. Like this, yeah. like this. <laughs> China, China. Like he has of the course, huge. No. Okay. Yeah, uh, of course, uh, the hands so, are debatable. The yeah. size. Okay, quickly, yeah. quickly. Let's see what the chat is saying about it as well. So uh, by mm. and large, this was not from left field. Everybody expected him to run, I suppose. Yeah. He's been mm. ever since that. What he means to say, he'll he'll uh, wheelchair his way towards the presidential election. Hey, after what they got in Biden, I think this guy looks oh, tough and. Biden Strong. is gone, guys. It's yeah. so funny. I don't know if you'll have wa- been watching these videos is, yeah. where he just like he forgets where staircases are. He forgets what the speech I'm is, still, what a mic is. I'm still recovering from Rashid Sunak. <laughs> or Sunak or something. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't what I mean, this is a UK prime minister. Surely you get the name right. I mean, yeah. It's worse than he, he, our he's like he's on constant loop of that John Travolta, you know, yeah. like Adele Dazim when he said on Oscars. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, what yeah, Biden yeah, is yeah, all yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah. And then he's got like Kamala who's just like <laughs> Oh fuck dude Like when, when I remember Kamala was first like Oh she's one of us And we should do that thing yeah. And then now She's just gone insane Okay now she's just like The most extreme When you say Kamala You mean Kamala no? Because I know They pronounce it differently <laughs> But it just drives me nuts I don't know who you're talking about yeah. Kamala yeah. Just, It sounds more like You know Kamala, Kamala, is, the, Kamala. is the WWF wrestler By the way Yeah I know. There you go So is that the vice president Because they need that It's they need a WWE by, by the way <laughs> Yeah. The pandas will fucking uh, kill you right now. Okay. Joe Biden gives me hope that me in my 80s with my dementia could still be president. And I really Oh, you in your that. 40s with your dementia. I don't think you will wait for the <laughs> oh, 80s. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you think you'd go, we're all waiting for you to go bald because no, then your act yeah. is 50%. Yeah. You're already you know, like, ah, what do I do? <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, yeah, okay. So, oddly with Trump, like there was a whole thing about like generally the Republican Party sort of alienate, disassociating themselves with him. Hmm. Uh, so, what he, like Mike Pence recently came out against Trump in court saying that, you know, like he was, I don't know, like he felt danger during his family, felt endangered during the Capitol Hill riots. So, that's like the first public statement against him, so to speak. But so, uh, what he'll end up doing is taking vote shares from the Republicans, right? Right. If he goes as an independent. Well, I think that's all going out of the equation now in terms of voting for party as it used to be in America. That's sort of yeah. gone out now. They're voting on issues. Yeah, and yeah. You're cross, it's almost, yeah. I don't yeah. know whether it's evolution or it's de-evolution, but for some reason, I feel that you can't just count on the fact that your pop was a Democrat and that you'll just vote Democrat. That's it's it. It's the great American yeah. dream coming It's happening true. here also. Yeah. It's happening here also. People who have switched parties and by them, I mean it's those the who have left, left the Congress we, to join Everyone the wants, yeah. everyone is looking for... <laughs> Bye, Nishant. <laughs> Everyone's looking for a two-party system here for some reason. What? One nation, one election. Why is Nishant walking party? out because we mentioned Trump? Is he a Democrat? Is that the issue? What's what's the problem? He just Nishant. It's just, okay. Nishant. Nishant, Nishant just he wants to know what happens in 2024 and 2024. I mean, if now. one guy drops yeah. out, I feel the pain. I have tears in my I choke. I just I cry. <laughs> Somebody get this water hey, bottle out. Speaking of speaking <laughs> of other people who feel the pain while yeah. dropping out, it's our sponsors, guys. Heads up for tails. Shout out to them. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, this is a this today is like pet uh, story segment. Today's uh, awesome pet. Oh, is Sarah about, is back. Uh, sorry, sorry to cut the story <laughs> because that's the Abbas romance is going on in the background, right? No. Uh, Sarah has been having a lot and uh, going through a lot in her life. I think she tried stand up in between. She uh, was 
dating someone in between. Don't First lose the sp- side of the sponsor, bro. Uh, yeah. Hemisha. Yeah, sorry, Cyrus. My bad. I- <laughs> <laughs> Hemisha, I saw. You got to meet Cyrus and his clowns. I love that. I love that. That's yeah. a new title. Yeah. Cyrus and his clowns. And Shreyas' picture Shreyas must be the most. Okay. Because there's no bigger clown than Shreyas. <laughs> and I don't mean this in a positive way. Yeah. yeah. In the worst possible yeah. way possible. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you think I was badly dressed, mm. he and I were like Simon and Garfunkel. You know, yeah. it was just completely at odd odds. He comes out like what whatever fab India rejects and throws out from the back <laughs> that's what he wears and comes yeah. to the shows yeah I thought of Rambo Circus immediately. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but an uh, entire tent on his legs. Yeah, you. I, I will show a picture so that if, people. If Shreyas made it to Rambo Circus, that means like he's become the most successful among. It's, it's a step up. It's a step up, and he's it the beard. He's up. the bearded lady. He'll be doing well. But uh, Nishan says I'm in Philly and have to go to bed. I have work tomorrow. <laughs> Nishan, only 15 more minutes, mm. man. We can yeah, do it exactly. Nishan, in, the, in a Philly minute, take yeah. one for the team. Uh, yeah. Unless of course you've got, uh, the unless there's, there's coupling and you've got company, then I, I accept that you know as an Indian male, take what you get when you get because you don't know when the ball's coming your way again. How right? much ever you paid for it, yeah, yeah. all of that. Indians uh, don't pay, Baba. Uh, what kind of Indian are you? You're in Gurga, you're paying. You're not even paying for rent. <laughs> No, I'm talking about the sex doll, huh? Anyway. Don't call okay, my wife huh? names. <laughs> All right, don't you dare take that back, you <laughs> rascal! Uh. Oh, ma, okay, no, uh, uh, is back. Uh, Rishi is the most racist of you all. Never takes comments of North Indians. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> it's, 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 it's the common theme. It's the common theme of self-loathing. Yeah. Rish, uh, you know, like it's yeah. just. Uh, How is he self-loathing? He's a Maharashtrian from... and he's not taking North Indian names. Yeah, but with North Indians, you can't tell if it's a comment or a complaint no. at the same time. No, it's not Spire, it's Rishi. Your father, Amarinder. I know, and when Baba, I say your father, but... I mean your father, Amarinder. <laughs> <Shira>. Yeah. <laughs> he, he basically hey. saying that Rishi is an anti-North Gra- Indian. Gra- all the Punjabi in names that come on. It's just, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, Cyrus, I'm going to give this a fourth attempt and I'm giving up. Okay, how... Story of the day. Yes, please. Yes, please. Uh, it's about, I'm wearing my it's dog about t-shirt. Saluki, the oldest dog breed. Okay. Uh, Saluki. I'm a Peter Saluki. Also. Peter Saluki. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. He's yes. gone on his mother. You don't have to abuse yeah. him. But yeah. anyway. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. The breed also holds the Guinness World Record Fastest. for this. Uh, it dates back to uh, 329 BC as uh, kept as royal pets in ancient Egypt. I don't know why this is relevant. But no, it is. They're okay. one of the oldest breeds uh, in existence. The beautiful dogs. Come come to my house. Like 20 bucks each. Greyhounds. Uh, no, yeah. Similar to the greyhound but yeah. they're hairy and whatever. And they're actually faster over a longer distance. They have those uh, long Greyhounds are the yeah. fastest up to about 800,000 meters. Yeah. You can check. You can come to okay. my house and we'll ch- chase each other. Your greyhound was was his Ma Saluki. <laughs> I'll get my cats. Shira, no one's listening to you. <laughs> I just read the entire yeah, story yeah. Spurs sent. The yeah. story is basically us having to wax lyrical over the Saluki. Yeah. So let's go for it. See, he's sweet enough to uh, know that dog. I have a Saluki. He's sweet enough to yeah. do his research. If he only came on time, he'd be the hmm. complete package, no? But you can't expect yeah. too much. What Saluki did you do with us? It's Saluki. <laughs> but I use the pun no Hindi. Hey, hey, I know, I know, I got it. Go, got you. Don't explain your joke. Vijay Kar moment. You, Again, you, we did no, not but, take but you know, it's name, Saluki. But you had to explain the joke. Now this is hey, this is Vijay Kar. Hey. Saluki. Vijay Kar explains the joke on stage. <laughs> Please don't tell me you do that. No, no. Oh, I just God. do them. Uh, see what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, your father Amrinder is very angry with you, Rishi. So yeah. please, a uh, lot of uh, North Indian guys are not getting a chance. But you have to identify some of our first names. Some of our names are Grim Fandango. How yeah. the hell do we know which part and of India you're uh, from? Amrinder Amr- 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 could be my father or mother. You can't, can't even tell. Like this. What? Grim <laughs> Fandango is... <laughs> nice. <laughs> hey, Amrinder, is there a answer? Are you your father or your mother? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good point, good point. Okay. Okay, because we are talking about dog stories and uh, this comes out from the great city of Gurgaon, uh, Can we interrupt uh, this breaking uh, news from Shugato Mukherjee? Yeah. The female brigade in this uh. chat every day just tells us the appeal Mr. Brocha has even at his age. It's not a great compliment, but it's a slightly uh, positive one. Yeah, then then why is it not on the chat? <laughs> I'm wondering that only. Yeah. yeah. Let's see, if, even yeah. if it's a lie, let's live the moment. Yeah. I'll be honest, yeah. I'll be honest, the whole comedy show that was put up was just an excuse. All the female <laughs> fans wanted was to be in a room with Cyrus. They'll happily pay the four ninety nine. And, yeah. Uh, so like while, and, while but, younger but, girls but, 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 for younger guys they'll throw like their handkerchiefs or bras and panties for Cyrus they throw blouses and stuff like that just like oh so sweet fall beating killing my moment Navin <laughs> thank you Baba they so throw balance sweet tere muh mein shakkar aur tere ka mein soda now now the North Indian amongst us is finding that very funny nothing yeah. he likes more than good yeah, abuse yeah, yeah. Achha, what happened in good Gurgaon to the Saluki. Uh, don't mention Gurgaon. So, no also. Saluki, but basically there was a dog in Gurgaon which uh, they got married 
informal Hindu tradition. Of course. Marriage. Okay. And uh, everyone's happy. The dog got married and uh, discussed. Dog marriages, that's where we are at. Okay, one second. Uh, now, Naveen is raising a point. Does it have to be heterosexual? Hmm. No, no. My my thing is, why does it have to be a custom-based marriage? What Like, he mentioned it's a Hindu marriage, right? Oh, nice. Like, the dog has to not take feras. Yeah. And that's what a dog normally does when it's living its own Which butt. Like, taking seven yeah. turns yes. around itself. Yeah. It's married to itself. Uh, after, after doing a poop, for example. <laughs> yeah. a, about to start a poop, yeah. they do a lot of turning around. Turning around. I try to do mm. that and fail. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> because you get dizzy. Try and do that and then sit on the pot. It's ridiculous. Try yeah. to smell your own butt. <laughs> bro, bro, that... The, I draw lines. There's a certain class in this gentleman. Don't judge by my clothes. Yeah. yeah. But I think there's still a remnant oh, of man. that left in us. What? What I, what I like about this story. The <laughs> okay, sorry. But what I sorry. like about okay. the story is that how we as humans try to uh, have think of dogs as monogamous, where they're going to be one yeah. family together. They'll have one set of like. Uh, you Even know, better, plan, how, like, I don't, how does it extend to humans who are not COVID. monogamous at all by nature? You know, it's just exactly. ridiculous. <laughs> Shri, you had to leave Chembur yeah. and live in Gurgaon because of the kind of, uh, you know, charges against you. I mean, you can't... Mm. There I are three, three that, unhappy sorry. women in Chembur <laughs> who he just walked up and left and just used his... So my mom, Some of the bras were picked up by Abbas. Okay. <laughs> For practice, he never skips Riyas. Grim, grim, yeah. grim. You, you, like milk of human kindness and love of, <laughs> of humanity. <laughs> Your sound just keeps flowing. <laughs> and what I like is Abbas and Silvery are favorite whipping boys, especially when they're not there. They've also joined in now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, Sri, we've got to get into okay. AMA's 11 yeah. o'clock hard stop for Israel visa. For Israel visa. Okay. And Israelis are nothing right. but Let's Yeah. on Instagram at what Cyrus says for the best bits from the show memes and much more okay I'm just saying much more but you know nothing dirty I promise okay well I can't promise but just follow and see for yourself huh let's get to AMA's first question do you think Cyrus will join the Mossad discuss no okay. I, but I like that uh, question I'd like to take it yeah please take it <laughs> if the money is good I think I'll work very well in these kind of places because I'm a natural like detective mm. and I, I, can, I can pick up like Naveen when you're cheating on your mm. boyfriend I can tell immediately I'm one of those guys who can tell you know can I, I, tell don't, now? I don't mean to cause a scandal but I can smell when mm. a woman has her thing ladies if you're listening it's, it's just like a gift but oh, I can what tell thing, what back thing? in school I don't want to say it and cause trouble. You know, but back I can, in I school, tell. everybody could tell, I think. No, you can't tell. What do you mean you can tell? Because then back then, the you technology was not like evolved. That. What? Yeah. Like, girls will also agree right now that like sanitary technology You're sitting has... in a public place and you'll be able to tell who's got this thing? I can tell. Okay, I cool. just have that gift. Your, your nose is better than your dog. My nose is the only thing working on my body, so just show me some respect. Okay, That's cool, why he's part of the Mossad. You think they yeah. got Cyrus? That's what I'm saying. You need that, brother. When you're investigative so, journalism so, so or you're any saying, kind of investigations of any kind, you can, you can, you can smell yeah. out uh, no, I don't want to take Nazi war criminals. I, I don't want to take it further. I don't see the point of taking it that further. That was what Mossad was like. The KRA for the first we're 20 going to years bury was just that. We're going to bury ourselves in mud. Leave it now. Let my it father was already thrown out of Israel. I don't have anything to lose. Your father was thrown out of Israel? He was detained. Your mother was attacked in Kuwait. Your father was thrown out of Israel. What? Kind of, I know, I'm, a, I'm an outlaw. No wonder you hate the world. Running like a smooth criminal. So the only good story you have is about soda. Everything else is pain. I mean, that's pain, but pain yeah. with pleasure. So pleasure it's pain, yeah. yeah, it's different, yeah. Okay, one question. That now you wasted think, time with uh, a non-EMA question. A, so let's go to one, yeah. We, yeah. Can, uh, we, can, we can take one finally from a North Indian, uh, King Julian, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh, so, that's just... Okay. Julian. Every, every <laughs> sector in Haryana has that name. Yeah. You're right, you're right. King Julian. Yeah, King Julian. Uh, 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 bolo. Okay, I don't know. Uh, what is the origin story of ballad or bola ram? The ballad of bola ram. Shah also don't know. Can you convince Pash to perform? I'll have to train him. Okay. They, they don't. The young kids today, they're all into rap, crap, and all. Grap. Yes, let me find a new word. Gay, <laughs> rap, gay rap. rap. Gay rap is grap. <laughs> they got offended. Like, I said, what's wrong with that? It can be a new genre, right? Who like, got offended? I don't yeah. know who was sitting with us yesterday. Kajol. Kajol, yeah. Kajol gets offended very quickly. Yeah. Like you just Something have to say hi. Behalf also. And she's like, what? Yeah. <laughs> this one I had at one time. Yeah. yeah. But I think uh, gay people can't rap properly. Either. Okay, that's not the question. <laughs> yeah. With nothing was about okay, for but, what is the origin story of Ballad of Bola Ram? Two of the trees I spied a KO said to myself, Bola Ram, be brave. It's very interesting. Why, why was there a... It's an English Marathi Parsi accent. poem uh, set to Marathi uh, poem. reflections. And it, it, it just brings people closer. I love it. The communities like each other more when they, you know, with over a drink, you sit around a campfire, <laughs> especially if it's already 60 degrees in tropical heat in Mumbai. And then, you know, you really... My friends go. just taught me the worst Marathi phrases. 
लाईक आंब्याच्या झाडाखाली उभी होती सकू लाईक महाराष्ट्र मागून आला बिंकू आणि डाबलीच्या चिकू i think dead people tell mm-hmm. no tales so uh, like a dead person like, mm-hmm. like if i have alexander the great and you know yeah. give him a glass of wine and he tells us about what really happened podcast, in the podcast yes that is did alexander the great come <laughs> on this podcast oh you mean already he was featured yeah talk to me like i'm seven what the hell are you doing <laughs> one of our guests from the past must have died by now no oh, can oh. we just do do it in i don't know, know the guests but lots yeah. of people listening <laughs> that i can yeah, we should because, do a because, memorial i don't know if you all know this but like there was an entire period when i had the worst time migrating the podcast to different platforms by the way because yeah. we had a exclusive deal with one company back then and uh, then the deal was seven don't say that okay, i'm not supposed to say <laughs> no, supposed supposed i apologize say. yeah i was okay. i'm now going to buy i feel much. like that kid in class who you know you're struggling with something i want to help you, you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so then the podcast was pretty much free for all everybody on the website and then yeah. went to saavar exclusively we were like you said it because now you said but it. you said it then how can you just believe it twice now no you said it twice <laughs> now let's not, let, let's say 6 or 8 ha, and, and don't go in the yeah middle. exactly okay. you said num- you said Tell your story. Number, huh? Six and huh? okay. Bolo, uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. bolo. Uh-huh. So, so then I had to migrate back to the website again after that, and I had to do the cataloging belt. Kiss up, okay. Uh-huh. So I was like, I had to listen to every podcast ever oh, that you God. had recorded again. again. <laughs> and I was not even producing half of no them. No wonder he hates the world, exactly. guys. Exactly. So it's not his way. fault. Guantanamo yes. Bay torture technique. Yes. Yeah, just listen to the early, says, the early ones, which yeah. are really bad. Yeah. Before <laughs> waterboarding and all this mild. Compared. Just like zero oh. audio. Imagine waterboarding him, and he has to listen to Cyrus says just just the rants. Just the rant. Yeah, yeah but back then I was like, okay, you know, these these people from like, where I know them. Yeah. They'd be like, I'm okay with the waterboarding, <laughs> yeah. but just stop the podcast. Just, just stop, stop hardcore from crying. You know, there's yeah. an entire episode. If you if I want to go and listen to an episode of Silence, so give a name, na. Nah. What are the guests you want to repeat? Hardcore. Hardcore Hardeep yeah. Kaur the, the yeah. rapper singer yeah, she's really ah, nice yeah. she's really nice emotional, but that's what I'm really saying nice. that's what I'm saying that, that was the only episode where I was moved in your in your podcast because yeah. everybody else is just bunkers. she caught us off guard she started like telling the story of her mom's abuse and it was really interesting yeah, yeah, yeah. and like really heart wrenching yeah, yeah. you know so I'm just saying like, I really like her yeah, please so, come and if you cry on our podcast doesn't uh, hurt uh, we would like that once in a while if somebody's emotional yeah. but who's an emotional person who can come on the podcast Kunal Kunal gets upset very easily if the watchman stops him entering he'll be in a bad mood I don't yeah. know yeah you're very mean to Kunal <laughs> but it's only the way it should be yeah okay yeah, Cyrus huh. Cyrus who would you who would you want to see cry amongst all the guests um everybody in my building I can't stand most of the people in my building <laughs> okay. now they want to throw one watchman out because he spoke back to a member I'm like that's natural justice for you hmm. the guy you don't even look at what happened you're just saying no but if he starts talking like that to everyone what What have we look at the incident mm. and see who's right or wrong you can't just say because we are one class of society mm. that guy's wrong I mean you can but I'm just saying you shouldn't What do you say Naveen as a yeah. communist I have uh, nothing to say about this yeah, I because can't, I, can't, I feel, I can't I feel okay. people from I've had enough people from all strata can be present assholes. I want one day to come home and all the neighbors are replaced new neighbors so we start all over again okay yeah what do you okay. think I think Delhi Delhi and Bangalore are better neighbors than Bombay in Delhi you get a better sense of neighborhood and people are nicer at least on the face of it you know people are friendlier warmer Bangalore uh, also, what Delhi know? have you been to Cyrus I've always had warmth in Delhi the thing I'm is, sorry to say I, what do you want me to do I had a bad experience I didn't have a bad experience what am I supposed what? to do you have to, go and, you have to go and really stay there be there for a while I've stayed there I've shot for days and days there Baba and cheap hotels like Sherwani Lodge and all you don't know with windows broken all that but the people are nice <laughs> people are always <laughs> people nobody nobody ignores you see in bombay people ignore you which is the worst crime this in is delhi, an entire different episode you have a conversation with anyone swarsh am i wrong everyone talks to you in delhi you just start talking to them you want to find a gym they help you you want everybody is aggressively listening like, to you that's that's not true this aggression thing is not true they're a little more uh, extro- extroverted it's mistaken for aggression real aggression is that silent passive killer like sri ram you go to chembur and see what happens to you that's where the aggression is really high <laughs> Oh, those guys I tell you Shri I was uh, molested in Delhi you oh. have to get along with your neighbors because in Delhi you have to get along with your neighbors why do you say the same thing three times hey. and then freeze hey wow are you hard, hard I don't know huh what is um, I think he started taking his medication early you have to wait till noon and after food Shri what are you doing you said Delhi was nice and immediately his network went away 
That's what I'm saying. Okay, your father, Amarinder, I'll take the next question. They say that Genghis Khan <laughs> is pronounced with the church. Genghis Khan has 1.6 crore descendants. Is it true? Since you claim to be one of them, unbelievable lineage. It's true. I have a, uh, my hellish chest. That's proof that I'm definitely a descendant. Yeah. Also, I can ride a horse. And most importantly, I do everything very fast. Which, uh, ladies, I'm sorry, but yeah, that's the way it is. Uh, I think, yeah, if back then when they were just like going around pillaging, raping people... Okay, but <laughs> you're running on your own Gurgaon standard time, dude. Yeah, and you just come and go whenever you please. You're worse than Sparsh. Yeah, you're like a chameleon. Yeah. Shweta is saying in Delhi, you got to get along with the neighbors because cars block one another outside the house or just to, to get out. Yeah. Okay, we have to take our word for that. Uh, GK is saying Sri Ram gone. So could you go? We're on a question already, Sri Ram. You can join in what or you can saying? jump off. Everybody's house is in your face. Okay, what is the question? Gokhale Bridge Andheri East to West was deemed too dangerous and was shut for vehicles. Now to ease congestion, they want to allow bikes and autos. This is a big tragedy waiting to happen. I know, a pal of mine was telling me that he took one and a half hours extra because of the bridge being closed, which is a huge extra time. Even, even Malad they shut SV Road down. It's like a whole uh, UN cry about it. Like, between you and me, SV Road should just close permanently. Malad should be shut down altogether. If I didn't want to say that because that would sound wrong. Yeah. <laughs> and what about the malls? The malls are the good. They can go fucking... I hate the Gorega of Malad malls. Oh, you become a regionalist? Yeah. Makabo. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> so where do you like the malls? I don't like malls. The idea of malls is so obsolete. It's so Achha, 2001. Achha. I understood from a whiskey perspective, you like large, not mall. Yeah. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Yeah. I like city walks which are like, you know, like Delhi Heart, for example, which has more personality. Uh. As compared to like just a glass wall with like chaddi hanging out of it. No. No. Okay, I'm sorry I asked. Sriram Bagaichi, who's not Bagchi, says, uh, you look like Sam Bankman, fried off FTX today. Fired. Oh, fried. None of us get Fired, no. Yeah. Sam Bankman, do we have a picture? To match, it'll be, take us time Sounds here to end the show in two person. minutes. Sorry. Next time we'll do it. Last question. Sridham has got into the police force in Gurgaon. He'll be walking the bomb squad dog. Dream 11. Grim Fandango just taking shots. Don't feel bad. He does it to all of us. He felt so bad he Shridham left. Sridham is the Grim, dog. what did you do? He just walked out on us now. Okay, Sri, we have to end it because one of us has got an important assignment and appointment with the Israeli visa committee. Yeah. And I'm already practicing my Hava Nagila Hava Nagila. I'm just going to burst into song. Let's see what happens. Lakhaim. Uh, shalom. Shabot Shabot Shalom. Uh, good. I, 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 you I speak like, perfect Hebrew. Yeah, some Hebrew I know. Yeah, as in Hebrew people. Yeah, yeah Hebrew okay. I drink. Yeah. <laughs> I know names. I'll just keep saying names. Uh, Jonas. All right. Joshua. All right, uh, we have to go. Okay. So it's bye bye. I'm here. Sorry, I'm Sit up. <laughs> Sit up. You carry on. You keep talking. Yeah. Okay, yeah. we are leaving, yeah. but we want you to stay on till the bye bye. Okay, one okay. last thing before I, before we wrap the show, please like, share, subscribe, all of that. Wow. Uh, uh, any anything that anyone has to plug, anything that anyone wants. Don't to say plug. that because he, it's a physical action for him, and then he starts misbehaving. <laughs> yeah, I want to plug a small. No, 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 bye. Okay, catch us on any of the podcasting apps, please. We beg you, we need you. Send us your questions on Twitter, on Cyrus Says In. Or you can email us, even if you're not female, on whatcyrussays at gmail.com. <laughs> <laughs>